Pisces. Welcome to Illuminated Tarot, or maybe I should say welcome back. It's a pleasure to be reading for you today. Thank you for tuning in. We're doing a little bit of a, what I call sandwich reading. We have a, a really critical time period here before the month of June begins, where I was guided to go into what this full moon last week activated within each zodiac sign. And this activation has a lot to do with the parts of our lives that we wish to grow and expand in. So if this was this could have hit your relationships sector, love life sector, it could have hit your career sector. Some people it's hitting a lot of sectors at once. So let's see what what area of your life and what is going on during this time period, which I'm really calling the end of May, based on the Sagittarius full moon that occurred on the 23rd, I believe. This was last Thursday. But, you know, being that you are in different parts of the world, we'll just say the Sagittarius full moon for simplicity. All right. I've got a new chair, y'all. I'm actually talking about it in all my readings today because it's the first time I'm in this chair. I've got my olive green. There's no, uh, I've got no wings over here, so I'm, I'm free. So I was just joking with Scorpio that the full moon activation was, was a chair for, for, uh, for me over here reading for you. So whatever it is that you're little things that you might be shifting so you can expand, it doesn't mean it's internal or it has to do with anything major. It could be as simple as changing the chair you sit in at work. Uh, uh, from the mundane to the profound, we'll see how it hits you. All right, Pisces, thank you for humoring me for a moment. And thank you, Spirit, for presiding over this reading for Pisces today. Thank you for being here with us. All right, let's do one quick shuffle. This is the Sacred Geometry Activation Deck. We'll see what, uh, what frequency. Ooh, wow. I've pulled only one for each. Pisces, I'm just going to let it flow. You've got two that came out. So you've got maybe two that coincide together. They feed off of each other. We're gonna, I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna let you have it. The first one that came out was universal love and underneath that is the earth. So a lot of you are really focusing right now on grounding and focusing on the frequency of unity consciousness, love, ascension, very high, high. Because of the solar flares and the aurora borealis and the conjunctions, there's just so much going on astrologically. I think we're all feeling a little bit like we're in this pressure cooker, we don't really know the ways we're being compressed and, and what's arising within us as a result. But it's it's that grace under pressure. I think we're all feeling it. And this is the time where we're looking inward for our own guidance as we navigate all the demands of our lives, both professionally and personally. 44, which is a beautiful master number. The frequency of universal love activates the connection we feel to each other, to our planet, and to the whole of existence itself. Wow, now that is what this moon brought in for the Pisces Collective. Tapping into the frequency of universal love for everything. So you may be feeling, if you if you tap into it, a very deep resonance for your existence and the perspective of that we're only here a short while. Why not enjoy it? All right. The next one, number 24. The frequency of Earth activates our deep connection to this physical plane by showing us the beauty of all the aspects of our Great Mother and revealing the more ethereal, spiritual aspects of our nature. Woo. A lot of you got a big dose of spiritual growth, spiritual awakening, and knowledge through this moon, or you're, you're swimming in it. You know, it's like, I almost feel like we're in that as a dreamy period, you know, the kind of dreams you have where you're dreaming of swimming or being in water. And it's very, it's very watery. So a lot of people are feeling lots of emotions. Overall, let's see where this is hitting you. Okay. We're just doing a very condensed bare bones spread to get an idea of what's happening for you right now, leading up into the month of June and how you can make it a kick ass month. Queen of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Something's hitting close to your structure, your foundational structure. Finances, perhaps. I'm getting it deeper than that, more of a grounded. Something has been a little bit unstable in, in your day-to-day -day 3D world. Two of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Let's see. Overall general energy that you're going to be facing because of this moon activation. What is the overall general energy because of this moon activation spirit? Ooh, it's about an important connection. Okay. 
We were talking about universal love, grounding in the earth. All right, what's the opportunity? King of Pentacles, and we had the queen come out. So there's been a period of, maybe some of you who are in some sort of connection, it's been a bit unstable. Maybe since the since last week, maybe it could be ongoing. Let's let's go further. Ooh, the challenge is the Ace of Cups, bringing the love, the universal love back to this connection. Someone that you have a lot of memories with, the Six of Cups always holds a precious soul bond. Hidden Truth is the Two of Swords. There's some uh, blocks that you're working through in a connection right now, it looks like. Let's go deeper, Pisces. Why is the Six of Cups here and the need for maybe the perspective to shift? Ooh, you could be trying to make a plan on how to bring a little bit more fulfillment and back into this connection if it's been lacking. Or this is about you coming into a beautiful balance between your divine masculine, your divine feminine as it relates to your 3D life. And connecting, maybe going back home, visiting people that you love. There's some confusion. You might be, as this relates to, if for those of you who are in a connection, this relates to two people with the five of swords. I feel like one person wants to go one way and one person wants to go another way. And you're having a hard time negotiating a compromise. What's going on in this connection, this soul bond? This definitely feels like more of a struggle between two people. And this doesn't have to be a romantic bond. It's any bond that is in your 3D reality that is very important and near to you, okay, where you have memories with this person. And there's some blocks you're working through with this contract. Because Six of Cups is not just about romantic bonds. How many people in your life do you feel you have a soul contract with, Pisces? It's deeper than romantic love. We have soul bonds with all kinds of people. The people are your, that you're ride or die people, the people that you call when you need support, those are soul bonds. Ooh, Queen of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. You are, ooh, that's a good energy, Pisces. We have the Queen, yeah. So the Queen is guiding you both right here to open up your heart spaces into a feeling of unconditional love. There's a reassessment going on and a wanting and a desire to make things more playful again. If things were heavy in the recent past, you have an opportunity because of this moon to lighten the energy between you. Because I do feel like there's been some, uh, maybe one person going cold on the other and the other one following suit. Well, fine. If you're going to go cold, I'm going to go cold. That kind of thing. It's just a tit for tat, which does happen in connections. But you have the opportunity to live liven it up right bring the the excitement back maybe go and do some new fun things together you'll re it's almost like you've lost touch with this person in a way even if they're right in front of your face feels like a new investment needs to be made in this connection to make it more playful during this time period Ooh, we'll take it oh that happened to be three i wasn't sure no yeah, three. Okay, so the opportunity for this time period leading up into June with the King of Pentacles, and this, this does feel like it's about a person. Could be an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. There's no major arcana, so I feel like whatever's going on right now, it's more a matter of fine-tuning, coming back together and getting on the same page and learning from past blockages. I think that right now you're feeling a lot better about the the state of affairs between you and another. You're feeling a level of success in this connection, or you will be. I feel like it's just you're right there. You're like, oh, wow, okay, we're finally on the same page. We're communicating better. I'm feeling like, wow, all right, we made it through. A, you made it through something that was a little bit of a challenge, you know, basically that point in bonds where we're required to grow. And it's almost like both of you passed the test. And you're learning a lot about what it takes to compromise and the ways you can succeed as a result of being a team player. Some of you, this has to do with your work reality because we have a lot of pentacle energy bound up in this. This is how you approach your day-to-day -day work life and working well with others and everyone being literally on the same page in whatever you're creating, whatever that is. Some of you, it's you could even be working with other people, collaborating on written material, 
and projecting them out into the world, you know, different projects. You might even recently have gotten or am, are anticipating a promotion and it's making you feel really, really excited. It, I almost get the vibe that two things are happening here where you've been investing in a soul bond that, that there's a lot of love there, but it's a little bit new because we have the page of wands energy. Otherwise, it might just be a connection, even if it's not new, where it just, you both bring out the little kid in each other and you have a lot of fun together. I think when it comes to work, things are lining up there as well, Pisces, where you're you're being recognized for your achievements and what you're doing, what you're creating. Some of you, what you're studying, you're, you're actually reaching that, you know, maybe graduating and now you've got a job offer and you're excited. There's, there's some great opportunities happening in your world, Pisces. The challenge is the Ace of Cups. Now, this might have to do with new love. Let's see. Let's see. There's been some instability. I did see that. Let's talk about this love. Ace of Cups. The Two of Pentacles wanted to pop out. All right, we'll take this. This is four. We have the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Three of Cups. So the challenge here is... Do you want to give to this? Is this something you want to give to? Others of you, this is trying to, this is you generating newer opportunities for yourself and that transition between an old connection, revitalizing an old connection or letting that old connection fade away. I almost feel like you're making a decision right now separate from your work life. That has a but the work but the decision you make is going to impact your work life. Whenever we see the Ace of Cups and the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Wands, that energy alone is about being patient with the changes that need to be made for two people to show up in a connection and deciding to work on that connection. Again, we have the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. There could have been an interfering energy of someone working so hard to achieve certain recognitions, certain statuses, certain, you know, financial promotions at work that the personal life suffered, the personal connection suffered. It's it's like Pisces, you're trying to balance out kicking ass and taking names at work and how that impacts your social life. Because I feel like you're a lot of your opportunities that you've been cultivating and creating and activating through this moon is around your work life. And you're actually reinvesting or actually calling in new people, new connections that are playful and fun and happy and free. And you're taking that energy. The challenge is you might have some challenge, some challenges to make around. The challenge is maybe who, who, who to give to Pisces. Some of you have actually generated multiple opportunities here in your personal life. If you're dating, I am seeing new love and almost this like, at first I thought this was about a connection and then your career went one way and your love life went another. And that might be where you're at, that juxtaposition of I'm so devoted to my career is now the time to really put energy into my love life. Some of you are so happy on your own, but you maybe have a lot of nostalgia around having a partner. So I'm seeing that as well. And if this does have something to do with a connection, for those of you that are in a commitment, there's been a renegotiation around the giving and taking and you've been communicating about it and you're waiting on change. And meanwhile, it's like spirit is guiding you during this time to have fun, get out there and play. Um, don't wait for opportunities to come to you, especially when it comes to getting out there and being social with people. You might even be trying to choose between lots of different things between now and the beginning of June. But you're saying no to something, emperor, Stressed out about an emperor in your life. Aries, Leo, Sag. Or you're stressed out about being in a emperor role of having to take on too many responsibilities. There's something that it's almost, I don't know. I, I get this vibe, Pisces, that you want partnership, but you're also like, I don't have time for that. And if you are in a partnership, things are getting better, much better. You're actually agreeing for once. I'm hearing that. We actually are finally agreeing. The hidden truth here. 
Ay, 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 yeah. Okay, so for those of you who are in a connection, it hasn't been easy as of late, but you are going to make some significant strides. You've been making some important decisions about what you need to let go of when it comes to the healing of a love situation. Things have been hard. You may you may be actually in this position where you took a time out with somebody, the Seven of Pentacles energy, so you could lighten up the, the energy and devote more of your time to your work life. And now this person's kind of coming back around. Meanwhile, there's other people in the mix. And now you're looking at, looking at okay, like, what do I do here? Because there's the past person, there's new people. I think you're burdened right now with trying to decide what to commit to, what you want, and what you need to block out, what you need to say no to, and what you really want to say yes to. Ultimately, your opportunity is you want to work with people who work with you. Where you, you know that you will have a great chance of success working with. If this has all to do with simply love, I am seeing you trying to make the right decision for yourself. Who's the healthy decision here? What is the healthiest thing for you moving forward? I see things going really well at work for you. What's not going well is the pain that you're carrying and the burden of that when it comes to sharing love, romantic love. You definitely are in a period of reevaluating an important person. Maybe things just haven't gotten past a certain stage and you've been talking, but it hasn't really lifted off. And now you, you start opening up the door to other people and now you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. Let's get some advice from Spirit. This is a short and sweet message. I do believe that this is the time to ground your energy and focus on what's going to be the most loving thing that you can do. I said this a lot to the um, fire signs and I'm getting a little bit of that vibe right now, Pisces. Whatever you do out in the world, whoever you connect with, it really comes down to one simple question. Does this person make you feel the way you want to feel? And I'm actually saying that to the entire collective. I don't think I said that to Scorpio, but because I'm seeing you trying to make important decisions around opening your heart, but there's this pause and this reflection going on and other people in the mix. So I think there's some uncertainty and it's hard. I almost feel like you have to choose an option but you have to deny another option and you don't want to hurt anyone. Or you could be on the receiving end of this energy where you're part of a, of a situation where there's more than one person involved. There's that King of Pentacles and that Six of Pentacles. We see that repeating energy. If, what's going to empower you the most? What, do you, what are you feeling led and guided to give to? Whatever you give to, you want to receive it back equally. So that's your, also your indication of whether it's worth your time or not. Let's get some advice from Spirit Pisces, and then we're going to get a beautiful oracle message for you for this time period. My full-length readings will come back around for the beginning of June. I just was guided to do this because this is the time period where we need to release in order to make room for the new. Yeah, you are definitely manifesting really, really amazing opportunities. I think that you're in a new cycle when it comes to your love life, and you're seeking out connections that... You've learned a lot from the wounded warrior path. And I think that you've done a lot of glowing up recently, especially around your work endeavors. And you've been manifesting things like crazy. I mean, we're talking stability, Pisces. I think it's a time period to feel really good about what you've created. And when it comes to the burdens of romantic love, I almost feel like it's something that you're carrying and you're trying to heal. You're trying to release the pain of the past and open up rather timidly to the idea of dating and looking at several options. Meanwhile, there's a past person that is still weighing heavily on you and you're trying to decide what to walk away from and what to let in. And that's a difficult time. But the more important thing about this reading is this is a confirmation of everything you're trying to achieve in your work that you are calling in new people, new people to collaborate with. You were in a strong, very highlighted. What's being activated in this moon is you and your freaking, I'm going to be killing it in my job, Pisces. You're, gonna, you're about to receive a lot of recognition and achievement. You need to be proud of all of your work 
that you've been doing. You've got no problem manifesting what you need to manifest in work. I think what you've been having a hard time with is manifesting what you want in love. So it's like, you're like, man, I kind of just have it all at the same time. And I think that it's because you're so work focused and that's okay. It's okay to be work focused. I think love is just confusing you and it's, it's wounded you and you're, you're, you're reevaluating your connections and also who you want to take on this journey of prosperity and abundance with. I feel like you're saying no to somebody and it's very, very hard. It's very hard. Someone may have put you in a third party situation and they made you wait and they weren't giving to you and you had a lot of love for them and they kept making, you know, making you wait on their decision. And then you just kind of let it go and you start going really deep into focusing on your work. And now it's like, I think that they're trying to come back and be all light and be like, Hey, you know, almost as if nothing ever went wrong with you. And I think you're, <laughs> you, you, uh, you know, what's up here. So be careful with anyone who wants to make a comeback at this time. I am seeing that energy. And I think they're trying to kind of dance their way in in a very lighthearted way. But I think you see past it. You do have a lot of unconditional love for this person. But the road has been long and heavy and painful with this person too. And I think that there's blocks up for a reason. Spirit is pretty much saying you, you, you need to be careful. Be cautious with your heart. You know, be protective of that space. All right. Let's pull a magical spirit oracle. What is the magical spirit oracle for you for this full moon activation in Sag? What is this teaching you? Especially when it regarding the confusion. I feel like there's you've been trying to sort out how you feel about someone. Pisces. Rebirth. Yeah. This person, this past person really led you to a rebirth. And now you look back and you're like, whoo wee, I've really come a long way. It's time to leave the old behind. Shedding the chrysalis, taking risks. Yeah. Time to shed the old, Pisces. I just saw 2224. Look that up. It's a progression, right? You've been you've been going through the right action to change your life for the better. I release all that doesn't serve me. I embrace the new. Your soul is calling for a rebirth of some kind in some aspect of your life or being. The bones of your past and who you once were are meant to be shed, left behind, honored and praised as the sacred things that brought you this far. Bless them. But then you must leave them far behind in that lonely desert of transformation so they can be one with all the other lost and dying things which serve the world, the earth, as nourishment. <laughs> It's true. And I was like, well, now I know why the earth was there. And in time, even as seeds, have little remorse. It's okay to grieve the letting go, but don't foster guilt for things undone. Rather, hold a wide openness and fierce curiosity for all that is to come within that new space inside you. As unfamiliar as it may feel, it is the next step to getting there. There's so much more room within you now. Can you feel it? It's tingling and sparkling with tiny new flames of warmth and sunshine for all the new things to grow, to blossom, to take you over. With passion and renewed inspiration for the possibilities of the unknown, do not fear it. The chrysalis is just a temporary phase of the unknown that is potent for magic. You don't have to walk around with the heaviness of those bones anymore. Let them go. Yeah, let them go. Let them go. Look at that, Ten of Wands. Leave them behind, Pisces. Dissolve yourself. Be open to transformation. We cannot always stay the same. We must evolve. There are so many things that want to grow within you and around you. Let them grow. The unknown holds great transformation and possibility for you. Trust it. It's time. Ask spirit for the bravery and guidance it takes to fully navigate and surrender to your rebirth. This is how we can get the ultimate potential of it, to let it be what it's meant to be, however that process may look or however long it takes. Psychologically, we need to get comfortable with being uncomfortable, with making new and different choices, with thinking and being in new ways, with living in unfamiliar territory, with taking risks. Those old ways are no longer serving you. Lead more with your soul and less with your ego. What a beautiful message. Shedding the chrysalis. Time to leave the old behind, Pisces. You got this. I'm sending you so much love. And I can't wait to see what June brings in. Those readings are going to be coming hot and fast uh, later this week. Bless you. I'll see you soon.